Okay, we're going to take a look at some inverse functions this time. And before we get into the inverse functions, what we're going to do is do a quick review of what we did when we were finding tangents. So let's go back to some of our tangent. Now, this is the work that we previously did. For tangent, there are basically four numbers that we are going to get as an answer. We're either going to get radical 3 over 3, radical 3, one, negative one. And some of the two previous answers I state, they can also be negative. Let's just make sure that we understand when we get each particular answer. So remember that we get radical three over three when radical three over two is your cosine. You get radical three when one half is your cosine. You get one when you have radical 2 over 2 comma radical 2 over 2. And of course we get a negative if one of those numbers is negative. So if we understand that, then these may not be so difficult. This asks us to find the inverse tangent of radical 3. Now it says for the inverse tangent your answers will be restricted to the first and fourth quadrants. So let's take a quick look at our unit circle. If our answers are restricted to the first and the fourth quadrant we're only going to be able to get something between here and here. Nothing in the second quadrant, nothing in the third quadrant. So let's keep that in mind. So this says the inverse tangent of positive radical 3. We just said the only time you get radical 3 is when your x coordinate is 1 half and your y coordinate is radical 3 over 2. We know that both of these have to be positive because radical 3 is positive. So all we do is go back to our unit circle and see if we can find these coordinates in the first quadrant. And let's take a look and lo and behold we'll find that at 60 degrees. So the inverse tangent of radical 3 we're going to say it's 60 degrees. The second problem says the inverse tangent of radical 3 over 3. Remember the only time we're going to get an answer of radical 3 over 3, this is what we're looking for. We are looking for an angle whose tangent equals radical 3 over 3. From the previous problems we did, we know that we get radical 3 over 3 when your y coordinate is radical 3 over 2 and your x coordinate is 1 half. We know that both of these are positive because this quantity right here is positive. Let's go ahead and check our unit circle once again. And we can see that at 30 degrees or pi over 6, we have those coordinates. So we know that our answer is 30 degrees or we can also say that it is pi over 6. Okay, let's take a look at our next set. This time we have the inverse tangent of negative radical 3. Once again, we know that radical 3 is the answer when 1 half comes first and radical 3 over 2 comes second. Remember, for inverse tangent, there's only two quadrants the answer can be in. That is quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. If this is negative, we have to be in quadrant 4. And if we're in quadrant 4, the y-coordinate is negative. Therefore, let's see if we can find this answer. So unit circle, and we're only in quadrant 4. And let's take a look. Positive 1 half, negative radical 3 over 2. Our answer is going to be 300 degrees or 
5 pi over 3. You don't have to put both answers, but I want to just make sure that you understand that it can be 300, it can be 5 pi over 3. These are both the same answer. All right, let's solve this one. Inverse tangent of negative radical 3 over 3. We already know we are in the fourth quadrant. And if we have radical 3 over 3, the angle whose tangent is radical 3 over 3 has to have these coordinates, radical 3 over 2, 1 half. If this is negative, we're in the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, y coordinates are negative, so these are our coordinates. And let's take a look where that happens. That happens at 11 pi over 6, which is the same thing as 330 degrees. So you can either put 11 pi over 6, or you can put 330 degrees. OK, we have two more, the inverse tangent of 1 and the inverse tangent of negative 1. Remember, if what we're looking for is the angle whose tangent equals 1. The only time you have an angle with a tangent of 1 is if both the x and y coordinate are the same. And that happens when we have radical 2 over 2, radical 2 over 2. Inverse tangent, we can only be in quadrant 1 or quadrant 4. This is positive, so we're in quadrant 1. And we should know this by now. Let's go to the unit circle and check. That happens at 45 degrees or pi over 4. So you can either put 45 degrees or pi over 4 for your answer. And last but not least, the inverse tangent of negative 1. And once again, that's going to happen when the x and y coordinates are the same. But this is a negative, so we have to be in quadrant 4. In quadrant 4, the y-coordinate is negative. So we go back to our unit circle and we look at look for these coordinates. We see that happens at 315 degrees, which is the same as 7 pi over 4. So we put that our answer is either 315 degrees or 7 pi over 4.